Now, how did you move from that, which sounds fascinating to me, to running for the legislature? What's, what's the transition here? Being a homemaker. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> you I, mean you got tired of being in the home? And... Well, I was pregnant with my uh, son, Matt, right. and my uh, husband wanted me, wanted a stay-at-home mom, and mm -hmm. I had no problem with that. And so I had my son, and, um, and uh, I was a homemaker. And he today says that I was bored out of my mind mm -hmm. and that, I, that, that he always knew I wasn't just going to stay Is he home. right? I don't, I don't know. I mean, see, I look back and romanticize sure. it. I mean, I look back to having dinner parties, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is what I did. I had dinner parties, and I'd take my son to the park. Uh, I had a little carriage, and, um, uh, you know, obviously, and we'd, I'd go to the market. And I mean, I just all did, you know, I did things in the home. I was a homemaker and, and took care of my family. And, and uh, it was actually through that that my first, um, my state rep for, first foray into elective politics happened because uh, I would take Matt up to the park. We lived two blocks from this large park, and I'd take Matt to the park, and while I was up there, there was a group of people protesting uh, the machine, mm -hmm. uh, building a golf driving range in the habitat of some bobolinks, which are rice birds, and bobolinks are not supposed to live in Chicago because mm -hmm. it's too cold, but they did. And we wanted to keep the bobolinks where they wanted to, you know, protect their habitat. So I joined the protesters. And in fact, there's still a picture. A friend sent me the, a copy of it, a, a picture of me with the sign, Park District, no, bobolinks, yes. Mm -hmm. So we were walking around protesting the park district. And, um, and we lost the battle. The driving range is still there. And I don't know what happened to the bobolinks. But anyway, um, and, but from that, the woman, a woman who was one of the protesters uh, was very involved politically. And so when our state representative retired, she, I met her again pushing Matt down the street and she stopped me and said, oh, uh, the state rep just announced his retirement. I think, have you considered running for state, for the mm -hmm. state legislature? I think you'd be good at it. And I went, oh, shucks, not me, you know, oh, no, I got a little baby and, you know, the rest. And, um, and then the group, then she said, well, come go with me to the community meeting about this. And so I told her I would and I went to the community meeting and this guy stood up and said, don't run. You can't possibly win. The blacks won't vote for you because you're not part of the Chicago machine. The whites won't vote for you because you're black. And nobody's going to vote for you because you're a woman. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was like, okay, <laughs> where do I sign up? Uh -huh. <laughs> where do I sign up for this job? I mean, that was, that was literally what did it. I was, I was now, did the machine run a candidate against you, or did you oh, run yes. against a machine candidate? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. The machine, um, in fact... And this is this kind of gets a little convoluted, but you'll appreciate. I think some of the nuances. Um, Illinois had a multi-member district cumulative mm -hmm. voting system. Same thing that got Lonnie Guineer in such trouble. Right. And it worked brilliantly, by mm -hmm. the way, for a gen for a hundred years. They just abolished it, I guess, in the late '80s. But we had multi-member district system, and so the way it had always been structured, well, not structured, we had always come out was that the independents, the liberals were able to elect one of the House, one of the, the state reps. The machine elected the other state rep. And then the Republicans had the other state mm -hmm. rep. So that's the way it worked out in our district. And what happened was that the machine candidate wound up, who was running for re-election, wound up losing, mm -hmm. as well as the open seat being filled. And, but he lost to, and he, he was black. The machine candidate was, was black. Mm -hmm. And um, Louis A. H. Caldwell, I don't know if that name yeah. rings any bells, but anyway, he wound up losing to Barbara Flynn Curry, a, a white woman who is now still presently the assistant majority leader in the Illinois House. So mm -hmm. two women went to the state legislature in that election, one filling an open seat, the other one knocking out the machine guy. And they called it the year of the woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the year of the woman. That was the early year of the woman. That was the first yeah. year of the woman, yeah. Right. So we both got elected, even though we had been competitors in the election process.